What's up? I'm Austin Griffith. We've got this really cool starter kit we want to show off. Uh, DevConnect is starting. What is it? Start yesterday. DevConnect is happening. And if you go to DevConnect, you will be using this Zoo Pass to uh, sign and keep track of ZK proofs that prove that you went to DevCon or you got a ticket or a handful of different things. Here comes Damu. He's coming in live while we're recording. Okay, so we have this uh, starter kit repo called the DevConnect ZooPass SE2 starter kit. It is a starter kit to get you started uh, building apps on top of this, like are using this ZooPass layer. Uh, should we look at the ZooPass first, Richard? Here, here is the ZooPass. Do you want to talk about it a little bit or just give us a TLDR? Totally. Yeah, so this is the ZooPass interface. ZooPass is just a new type of cryptography manager. Essentially, if you're coming to DevConnect, you'll be using this for your ticketing. Awesome, you go ahead and click just the DevConnect folder over there and click into Prague Crypto. You'll see we got a QR code. This is what you'll be scanning at the door. But now, now what we're going to go ahead and see how you can use these ZK tickets to actually make useful proofs. Um, for example, mint NFTs or send yourself ETH. Awesome. And we got some frogs in there too. We'll have to check those we out. We got some frogs. Okay, so starting with the repo. Uh, we, we have uh, this nice diagram that shows the different ways that we are uh, verifying the proofs, uh, but let's go through oh, and generating the proof, right? Uh, but it's easier just to see it. I cloned it down. We CD'd in. I did the yarn install, the yarn chain, the yarn deploy, the yarn start. I did all of that stuff, and that brings up your app. So the app looks like this. If I widen it a little bit, we'll get the rest of this stuff. This is the Scaffold ETH2 app. It's great for tinkering and writing smart contracts and testing your assumptions. We've kind of put these two things together. So you can come in here and hit get proof. And that's going to bring up this pop-up that is going to ask you to prove that you have specific event IDs, I think, right? All of these different event IDs, you have to have one of these event IDs. Is that right? I think, yeah, Richard is, is yesing that. And we're going to ask for this information. So the cool thing about these ZK proofs is you can generate these proofs without releasing very much information, but we actually are going to ask for a little bits of information here and there so we can maybe make our app do something interesting or have some kind of civil resistance for uh, uh, attendee email or something along those lines. So, and there's also the watermark, which is what my, that's my address. Yep. Okay. And an external null, nullifier. I think that's so, so people can't vote twice or something like that. I don't know a ton about ZK stuff, but uh, so there we go. Our, our proof. So what happened is we clicked this button. It brought up that pop-up. We basically signed it like a MetaMask thing, but really we generated a proof on, on your servers. And then that proof came back to our front end. And now there's many different ways we can verify this proof. The first just being right in the front end, just uh, front end security, verify the proof. Okay, so you could maybe go get that proof and come back and verify it locally or verify it in your browser before you move on to other verification methods like the contract. Uh, should we show that in the in the uh, app a little bit? Let's see. So the where is the verify? It's this one right here, right? Send no nope. verify proof in front end, right? And it just uses your library to deserialize the PCD and then dot verify it. And we make sure not only that it's a verified proof, but we check to make sure some of this other stuff is correct, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So we've been able to verify it on the front and now we want to verify it on the back end. This will send it to an API. Ta-da! And it gives us some ETH, right? This works like a, uh, like a faucet. So uh, here we go. If we go look at the API route, verify, we see this doing the same thing. It's going to deserialize it and it's going to verify it, but this is on the back end, right? You can have a little bit more, uh, a little bit better security assumptions about if you need to run this on a back end with something that's going to be dropping funds, right? You want to do that in your own like server or something. And kind of down here, we can see it sends money to the person. So we've generated a proof. We verified it in the front end. We verified it in the back end. It's dropped us ETH. Now this is the big one. We're going to verify it in a smart contract and make sure that it works in solidity. And this is the very powerful one here. Oh no, did I not deploy my contract? What do I need to do? Let's make sure I've yarn deployed the smart contract. I think I did though. Let's make sure. And then let's hit reload here. I'm going to go prove it again. I don't know what I did wrong there, but let's Make sure we have it right. Hit prove. Verify on the front end, verify on the back end. Please work. There we go. We're going to the smart contract. 
it's making a proof. There we go. We can see it back over here. Here was the smart contract call right there. And let's go look at that. And it minted the item, right? Let's go look at that uh, in the smart contract right here. Okay. So it inherits this gross 16 verifier. It brings in these event IDs and gets them uh, into like uint form, right? That's what we needed to do. And then uh, it does a proof, uh, verify proof right there. That's just a modifier right on that thing, right? Let's see, where's the mint? Mint item and yeah, a verified proof. And also we're checking the same thing, not just that the proof is verified, but that we have valid event IDs and a valid signer and they haven't minted yet. We even have civil resistance. Could work Shiv building that in, that's really cool. So this, this proof verified is really like the, 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 the high high level crypto, this is the good stuff right here where it's taking the proof and all the public signals and making sure uh, this is true or failing. So we were able to generate a proof using the ZPAT, Z, Zoo Pass and then verify it in our own smart contract. Uh, anything else to cover there? Maybe we could like look at the event IDs. The goal here is to get people to come fork this and use this in a number of different ways. Where, where should we lead them from here? What's a good next step, Richard, or, or anyone? Totally, yeah. So one of the great next steps here is to go, you know, use this for your own auth in a different app, right? So here we have just an example, send over some ETH. We've already seen actually one example where someone's used this to actually distribute whole sky and Sepolia ETH, right? You prove that you're, you have one of the, you, you went to one of the DevConnect events and you're able to get just 500 ETH for your test app. Some other examples where you actually use this proof to join the DevConnect community hub. So um, to actually join a Telegram group, you can use one of these proofs and that's where we're also verifying in the back end here, right? So our, our goal, right, is to really just expand the scope possibilities, right? If you wanna use this for any games you're making, right? For any sort of, you know, different in-person, you know, in-person access to an event, right? You can scan their zoo pass and go in, right? So I think we really wanna open up, you know, the floor here and just um, make it kind of allow our, allows like make it clear that ZooPass is just a mechanism for you to authenticate that you went to a certain DevConnect event, right? Um, that's mainly all for now. Maybe uh, as some sort of libraries. Again, this is the uh, Bill Guild DevConnect DevConnect ZooPass SC2 repo. Um, and if you do want to authenticate other event IDs, we have the original repo, which is forked from, which is the ZooPass scaffold ETH2, which you can go ahead and awesome. add your own event IDs. And those event IDs are here, and you can find them uh, in the ZooPass constants. Uh, these are the same thing, but in uh, string format, not uh, numeral format. And you have, this is the fields. These were the fields that we wanted to reveal. Like maybe you don't want to get their, their email or whatever. Okay, uh, so you at home, you can fork this repo. Uh, you can bring it up and do Go, go get a proof from ZooPass. And that proof can be uh, a handful of different things that you uh, can put in here, like what valid event IDs you want them to provide the, provide the proof for, what fields you want to reveal. Then you uh, you know send, send that thing and it will bring up this pop-up. It will go prove you know specifically what you're looking for. Uh, then once you get the proof, you'll be able to verify it in a number of different ways. And probably you won't do all of these. You'll use one of these for your app. But the most powerful is this on-chain verification where we do it in the Solidity and you can fork our smart contract and start tinkering with it with the Scaffold ETH debug stuff that we have in Scaffold ETH and get you know a smart contract app that is verifying these really cool uh, ZK proofs from the Zoo Pass. Awesome. Um, Anything else? Yeah, like one, one, one little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, can you go back to the UI? Yep. Because I yep. think for people that um, don't have like much context on Scaffold ETH, like the burner wallets might be a little mm. bit confusing yep. because you are like sent a transaction to the contract, but you didn't sign anything. You just like click and then boom, it worked like the front end or the back end. So maybe you just like can connect yeah. your MetaMask or, you yep. know. Let's connect in my, okay, so now I'm connected with my MetaMask as Austin Griffith.eth. Let's do the whole thing again as me. Yeah, just... And it's logging into ZooPass as my email. You'll log in uh, a different way. But yeah, there is, there should be, there we go. This one transaction, like here is the transaction that goes to the contract. You're right. We really kind of glazed over that with the burner wallet, but this is 
a transaction that's happening that we're signing with our ECDSA key pair and it's settling in the smart contract and verifying that the proof is correct. Good, good point there. All right. Yep. And okay. So now some frogs. Shout out to some frogs. Keep an eye out here for these dogs in the in the swamp. Yeah. What's going on here? You uh, this this is the cool thing here is this is kind of like a composable layer, right? You you can have all these different apps that are being played on top of this zoopass.org layer, right? Uh, yeah. Search the swamp. Find a frog. <laughs> this is this is not part of it. But look at that glass frog. Yeah. <laughs> awesome so the a point, real frog there the the goal here is to go fork this repo and build something cool that leverages zoo pass and shows off the composability and uses this awesome technology all right awesome anything else anybody else before i stop sharing thank you anything awesome later <laughs>